when I'm running often, um, I'll get to a point in the run, this has been quite um, consistent, I want to share it, where, where I will say to myself, I'm scared to go further because I'm worried that, you know, something bad might happen or I don't know what's going to happen. And at that point, that's when I realise, and it's been a metaphor that I've been applying in my life, that's when I realise I've got a choice, obviously. There's two choices. I can stop the run at that point and kind of try and get some control or a feeling of certainty and control and then go back home or go, you know, finish the rest of my day or I can be braver and jump into the unknown and face that fear where I don't know what's going to happen I don't know how it's going to feel I don't know what sort of anxiety it's going to trigger in my own mind thoughts feelings emotions or memories or I don't know what it's going to bring up and what I found is every single time that fear comes up when I'm running and it comes up pretty clear how I've described or sometimes it will come up in a way of saying that oh I'm I'm I'm, you know I might get injured or I feel fatigued now that's enough anything more I'm going to overdo it and sort of there's no point it's kind of similar whenever I've gone further I've always grown stronger and I'm not just talking about I've grown stronger on the run which I do but I notice that that it's almost like that part of my mind which gives in and my body and my anxieties and my sort of belief in myself and my sort of relationship myself that that sort of that same pattern will show up in my life in other areas where I get scared and it will present me with that same choice am I going to stop now because I'm I'm scared I'm uncertain and I don't want something bad happening I'm worried about I don't know what's going to happen it's the unknown I don't have control over going further am I going to go further and take that risk and grow or am I going to retreat so that obviously that is an ongoing challenge every day and that's what happened today with doing these videos this is the third video that I've shot I went out doing some reading today and I had a lot of mental fears and and dialogue and I was scared to go a bit further in these videos because I'm going further now than, than I've ever than I've gone before. Maybe some of you won't notice that, but I know it. I know in my I know in myself. And that's because of what I've been learning from running. And I'm also gonna say as well, I've learned lots of this from the running, the long distance running that I've been doing the last two years or so. But I've also been learning it, I learned it through therapy. I'm quite thankful now. I'm kind of valuing it more now. I've finished the 12 sessions of CBT and I'm going through a lot of challenges in my life at the moment. So it's interesting how we've all got certain we've all got certain limitations in our in our thought patterns, in our in our emotional resilience where we give in to fear or where we, we get to an area, you know, like we've got certain patterns in our life. It could be at work, it could be in our relationships, it could be with ourselves around the house. They're just patterns that emerge. They're mental and emotional patterns that we we develop throughout life, whether we do that consciously or unconsciously, where we sort of we we um we have certain safety parameters, so we kind of know what's going to happen. Let's say, for example, you cook a certain meal. And you've been cooking that meal for many years. You you know what's going to happen. You've cooked it so many times. You know you you know how much it costs. You got a certain order in how you cook it. You know the time. It's the known. There's not uncertainty around it, pretty much. But if I was to say to you, change the recipe up, add new things on that you've never added that you might not like. You might say, oh, they're disgusting, or or you might make a mistake. That would be pushing those parameters of your mental capacity and your, you know, emotionally. Does that make sense? This is what I've learned from. I've, I I definitely learned this from boxing as well, but at the moment, predominantly from running. Reason being, as I said, I wasn't I was not a good runner naturally, or at least I didn't believe it growing up, and I always quit prematurely. But of recent, I haven't. I've been going further and further. I started running. Um, running again, sorry, because I ran when I was younger when I boxed, but I never felt like I really stuck it at long term. I always quit at some point. So in the last two years or so, maybe a bit longer, I say around two years, it feels that, I started off running, struggling to do half an hour. 
And at the half an hour mark, when that conversation would come in, I would always give up. My mind would say that I'm exhausted now. Physically, when I'd give up mentally. But when I look now, I've gone from half an hour, a couple of weeks ago, I did three hours. Doesn't even feel real when I say it, but I've done it. Um, that was a world record for me. And then I did, um, I, I, I was quite impressed. I tried to beat, I couldn't do it. I did two hours and 45. I was just 15 minutes shy of three hours. And then I went out the other day and I, I ran two hours 20, which is still amazing to do two hours or three or even an hour and a half. And that is because I've been every, like it's been slow, but I've been gradually pushing a little bit further each time with that conversation. And I'm doing this in, in other areas of my life as well, especially with trying to recover from the challenges I'm going through at the moment. So I found that interesting. I wanted to share that. I, I, I really, I've always loved learning I mean, I never really enjoyed learning that much at school academically, but I've always loved learning um, with this sort of stuff, you know, learning which is experiential, we're building confidence, discipline. Um, most most of my learning is around facing fear, really, pushing the limits of fear, coming outside your comfort zone, going into the unknown, going further and further into those areas where I don't know what's going to happen. It's uncertain, it's scary, it's lonely, it's frightening, but when you when you go into those areas and you survive then you've got some certainty again and you, you grow stronger. So it's a bit like another analogy, if I can explain. When I first started running in, in uh, the Park Regents Park, I would do my certain route. I might run half of it or a bit and then I would stop. But a couple of weeks later, I would dare myself to go a bit further. There are other areas in the park that I'd never ran before. And it would be scary because I, I, I would be a bit scared of getting lost as well. Not that much, but a little bit. And then I'll just add more and more until I ran around like every part of the park. Now it's like I want to go and maybe run in bigger parks or other areas. And when I went to Latvia for a short break, I did a run there. I was scared to do it, did it. So it's like going further. So the running for me is also a metaphor for going further within our own mind, within our own fears. And that can be in any area of our life. It could be when we're doing a video. You know, sometimes we have conversations with friends and we get to a certain point in the conversation and we stop because we get scared. We get scared to go further because we get scared that we might be judged or we might upset someone. We don't plan to do that or we don't know it might. We don't know we might get nervous or we might have a great time or we, or we might be afraid for our friend or the person we're talking to. We might be scared that they're going to go further. They might say something that, that makes us feel scared or inspired or a memory so I'm kind of fascinated with this kind of this um, um, particular thing I'm talking about today, which is going a little bit further into the unknown, where where you don't know what's going to happen, where where you, you ain't got a clue, um, as opposed to always staying in your comfort zone. In a, in anything in life, as I said, it doesn't have to be with running. I'm just giving running as an example. Um, it could be with boxing. It could be anything, any area in your life, something that you do. It could be something that you're good at, but you've never really gone a bit further into an area that you're, that is the unknown, where you don't know if you're going to fail or you don't know what's going to happen. I've given a few analogies there with like cooking or talking to your friends, um, running a boxing or speaking on, on a, on a live stream, um, even things like recently before, like, you know, like going to the hairdressers, right? Getting a beard trim and getting what's left of my hair cut. Before, I'd like always go to the same hairdressers, which is fine. But after a while, I, I would challenge myself and just go to different ones. And it was good. It was good to get outside my comfort zone and just try different um, stylist salons. And I've, you, you grow a lot more. But yeah, in order to get, in order to grow, you got to, got to face those uncomfortable fears and emotions and and otherwise you you don't change you don't grow you never get further you know you don't run a bit longer or go further in anything that you do i think it's very healthy I, i'm i'm not saying that you've got to do this every single day um but i think it's healthy once in a while for anyone just to go a little bit further i think I think for anyone in life anything that we're doing because um if we don't then we're not gonna obviously move forward in life you're gonna stay stuck so um, what other things that I want to, want to mention? That's mainly it. So yeah, I do like to learn. I do like to sort of get sort of 
really meaningful bits of information that I gather when I'm taking action or running or facing my fears or challenging myself and things that are really important. I like to kind of get the essence of that, make a note of it and then share it and explain it. So it becomes a tool that I've got. So whenever, whenever I'm in a certain life situation and I get stuck or scared or I have uncertainty, at least I can at least know, well, I've got a choice here. And sometimes I'm scared and I will pass up. Of course, I will just be one of the courage. I'll be scared and I'll say, nah, I'm going to leave it. I've, I don't, I don't want to go further today. I'm, not, I'm too scared. I'm going to leave it and then live to, live to fight another day. So it's all about courage, really. It's all about going further, having more courage. Um, what other things that I want to want to touch on? That's mainly it. I'm just trying to think. Um, what else is there? I can't think now. It's gone blank. Yeah, this is the last thing I wanted to say. So. Let's say like today on, on this video, I've been doing it today on these videos where I've been going a bit further, like when I've been feeling a little bit of internal fear or doubt or sort of feeling like, oh, I'm, I'm kind of going into the unknown here. Because there's certain, like when you've been doing videos for such a long time, I've been doing it for about 12 years now, I still feel like a complete beginner. But when you've been doing it this long, inside, there's almost like a certain feeling of safety where I can speak for however long, finish what I'm saying. And then I can sort of sometimes feel like my fears will kick in and it'll be like, right, I'm going to end the video now. But now I've got a choice to actually say, well, now actually I don't want to end the video when I feel fear coming up or discomfort or feeling of, oh, like I'm out of control or, or doubt or uncertainty. I'm going to apply that same principle I said when I was running and, and go a little bit further. Because other people may, you may not know that I'm experiencing that because it's a private thing, but I know I'm experiencing it. And that's the important thing for everyone. And then I might choose to speak a little bit more or to push through that resistance or feeling awkward or however I'm feeling. So when you're doing it in the moment, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel pleasurable. Wherever you're doing it, whether you're running or in a video, you're basically like um, not giving up um, when you feel that's enough or as i said you're not staying in the parameters of your what is comfortable or certain you're you're going into the unknown even if that's just a minute longer in a conversation or a run or whatever you're doing it feels scary it feels risky it feels uncomfortable it feels like it's oh, i shouldn't do this it doesn't feel good but later on like the next day or the next weeks you're 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 appreciate the growth that you've got you don't notice it straight away and then when you're when you're in whatever life situation a little bit later on it shows up you feel it you feel that growth in your you feel it it's like you've added something you feel better and then obviously it's a continuation so it does take time and effort to notice because i didn't notice at the start i was like i'm going through all this it's scary it's it's kind of getting it's kind of getting me down in these moments it's quite a, it's quite a depressant feeling it's quite a, you feel like you're going through darkness but later on you know there's light at the end of the tunnel things get better and you realize that and when you realize that more your mind starts to adjust more your perspective and then you want to go further and then you've got then you understand you've got the intelligence behind how it works why you're doing it why are you going to put yourself through something difficult because you're going to get a good reward after, right? So I'll end on that. Hope that helps.